All right, guys, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about how practicing semen retention can make you more attractive, not just to a specific person, but to people in general. A quick disclaimer I want to make is the philosophy and the mindset that I'm going to talk about or the benefits that you're going to receive from retention, in my belief and in my experience, can absolutely be applied regardless of whether or not you are practicing semen retention or just trying to heal your mind by not watching certain websites through NoFap. This mindset, this philosophy can absolutely be applied regardless of whether or not you're actually practicing retention or you're practicing no fat. Now, when you are practicing retention, I believe that you inherit one of the most highly attractive qualities that a person can possess, especially a man, which is non-neediness, okay? Non-neediness. When you are a slave to your lust, when you're constantly trying to seek validation from other women, and you're, you're driven by this subconscious desire and this urge to be validated through intimacy with other women constantly, nonstop. And this is, for a lot of guys, this is what fills their minds 24-7 is how can I get the next quick release? How can I get the next form of validation through a beautiful woman? How can I find the next quick hit of dopamine? When your mind is filled up with this nonsense of just trying to please yourself all the time, like I said, whether that be through regular intimacy, through self-pleasuring, when you are always focused on yourself and you're selfish and you're trying to alleviate yourself all the time, this shows up not only in your body language, but in your actions, your behavior. And one thing that we as men have to understand is that women are very intuitive. Women can almost sense or I'd say 99% of the time, they can sense when you really just want something from them, from the first exchange, from the first interaction of you speaking to them. Women can feel when there's an underlying hidden motive of whether or not this guy is just trying to sleep with me, whether or not this guy is trying to get something from me. And when you practice retention and you heal yourself from the inside and you refrain from constant overindulgence of explicit material and you and you just kind of get back into real life and you pr and you focus on building yourself up you focus on becoming more you focus on improving your skill sets you focus on improving your social skills you focus on putting yourself in uncomfortable situations so that you can grow just like you know practicing retention you put yourself willingly in the position of not leasing your valuable energy all of the time and you seek discomfort you seek growth and you work on your social skills your behavior skills your skill set and you literally just start to transform yourself from the inside out what happens is you start to realize that the power does not lie outside of yourself okay the power doesn't lie from any sort of external external source nobody can come and give you the mindset of a high value guy. Nobody can come and give you the, the, the secret key or the secret tool. People can speak game, right? I can speak game all I want. I can, I can tell you how I've learned to be better with women. I can tell you how I've learned to be better through my day-to-day -day life or be a better employee. I can tell you all of these things, but until you know it yourself personally on a spiritual level, until you actually start applying them for yourself, you won't understand the power of of non-neediness, of not needing any sort of external approval or validation because you already know it within yourself. Now, how does semen retention do this? Semen retention does this because once you retain for a long time, you start to realize, like I've said in many of my other videos, that your sexual energy is the most powerful energy that you can experience. It's your creative energy. It's your masculine energy. It's your aggression. It's that, that fuel and that drive that you feel to go out there and make something of yourself. It's that fuel and that fire that you feel to get up and, and go to the gym and to discipline yourself and to become a better man. And when you allow this to cultivate throughout your body, you, you breathe with it every single day, right? Because most men, what do they do? They wake up, they feel a little bit of, of that energy rolling and the first thing they wanna do is just to get rid of it or at night, whatever your routine is. This was me for a long time, right? Anytime I felt this energy, it was like I was just a slave to this emotion and I would immediately want to get rid of it, immediately want to, want to just relieve myself, right? When you practice retention and you allow this energy to cultivate, you allow it to harness and you 
like I said, breathe with it every single day. You allow it to be there. You cherish it. You value it. And you understand exactly what that emotion is, which is drive. It's, it's literal masculine energy that will push you and drive you to do extreme things, extremely constructive things. It's, it's not an energy that makes you feel so uncomfortable where all you can think about is just running around and jogging around the block. It's, it's a deeper spiritual concept than that that makes you understand that it's, it's really just creative energy and it's energy that can be transmuted. It can be pushed towards something else. And like I said, when you allow this to remain in your system, when you allow it to flow and circulate throughout your body, you start to realize literally, like as I did, that until you grow from the inside out, right? Until you, until you realize that all you need is, is that internal flame, everything else kind of falls naturally. So when you interact with women, when you try to build your relationships, there's a different aura that gives off of you. There's a different energy and a vibe. And I think this can, if you're someone who has struggled with social anxiety, if you struggle with constant thinking of that validation and, and wanting people to approve of you and wanting girls to come up and approve to you, and you practice this, this powerful practice, it's going to be night and day difference. If you're somebody who already has good social skills, you didn't have a problem with these websites or you didn't have a problem with constant self-pleasuring, it might not be the biggest difference, right? This quick disclaimer. But I think if you've been haunted and possessed by this emotion for such a long time and have dealing with this addiction for a long time, it can make an absolute night and day difference for you because it's, it's really just about perspective. It's taking those glasses off of, of being this animal and wanting to find some sort of, you know, you want, you want to find a girl to just validate you, right? I'm going to use the word validate so I can be a little bit more appropriate. But it changes your perspective on intimacy, it changes your perspective on, on women. And you start to look at people with a healthy respect and not just objects, right? And so when there's not that pressure, there's not this pressure that young men feel to be perfect, right? Because I feel like this is one of the reasons why most men are so anxious and afraid to talk to women or approach women or just have a normal conversation because under underneath their mind, it's like this huge game. This has to end up in intimacy and it doesn't have to be that way. The reason why you think in those terms is because of the fact that you are ruled by your lust. You are ruled by your lower nature and you have not harnessed yourself as a man and you haven't trained or disciplined yourself to supp not suppress that emotion, but control that emotion, have a healthy respect for it, but, it, but it's, no, it's no longer ruling your life. It's no longer ruling your mind. It's, it's just there as it is. It's just the emotion. And so when you can take that pressure off, Approaching women becomes easy. Interacting with women becomes easy because you no longer need anything from them. You are non needy. The most unattractive thing, ask anybody will attest to this, especially women. The most unattractive thing is neediness. When, when, a, when a man, a fully grown man, is needy for attention, needy for comfort, needy for love, needy for a pat on the back, it's the most vile thing ever because it just shows that this man hasn't healed through something or this man is searching for something that he can easily give to himself through through gradual course and time of improvement and understanding himself on a different level but us as men need to start operating differently and realizing that we don't have to put anybody on a pedestal anymore that doesn't mean that you're you think you're superior or you're just you know you're you're better than everybody but to pedestalize everything and everyone else around you and assuming that they have answers that you don't, or let me rephrase that, assuming that they can do something for you that you can't is setting yourself up for failure and forcing you to adopt an aura of neediness, which repels everybody else around you. Listen, guys, harnessing this energy will teach you that all of the resources are within you. Not, not, not meaning that you have all the answers and you don't need to learn from anybody or you don't need to seek out mentors or any of that, but it, you realize that that ambition, that drive and that hunger in your, your mind, your body, your spirit is all that you need to grow from there. 
It's all that you need to become a better man. It's all that you need to improve your skill set, improve your social skills. And when you drop that neediness, when you drop that attachment to other people, other women, you drop that neediness that you that has been coursing throughout your body for such a long time, people will see you in a different light, especially women. Women will see you in a different light because you're going to start walking around and you're going to give off that aura of somebody who has it figured out. I'm going my own way with certainty. I'm focused. I'm convicted in myself. I'm convicted in my mission. I'm focused on my purpose. You can either come with me or you could stay right where you are. I'm cool either way. You know, and that type of attitude, that mindset will start attracting people into your life that were meant to be in your life. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Seamer Retention is the truth. Do your research and I'll see you guys on the next one.